Africa is most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Rises in temperatures and reductions in rainfall could lead to severe water shortages and a decrease in crop yields. Changes in a variety of ecosystems are already being detected, which can result in the extinction of many plants and animals. Water sources are becoming intermittent and the rise in sea levels is alarming. Climate variability and change is also impacting human health. For Africa, discussing climate change is not a luxury. It is something that really relates to reality right now. It is affecting many people. It has a tremendous influence in our transformation agenda. And as we have this good news about growth, we worry about people getting carried away without taking into account some of the implications that are necessary for the transformation agenda of the continent to also cover the megatrends. And climate change is one of our biggest megatrends. Most of our economies are rain-fed and are heavily reliant on climate. The way in which we manage this resource becomes a critical factor in terms of how we grow our economies, how we harness growth, uh, but also how we can leapfrog to other types of technologies. It's urgent for countries in the region to take action to reduce vulnerability and to enhance their community's capacity to adapt. But in order to adapt to climate change, accurate climate information must first be collected and analyzed. Les principaux problèmes qui sont reliés à, à la collecte des données, euh, principalement pour le Cameroun, déjà on a le, la dégradation du, du réseau d'observation. In order for us to do it properly, we have to have an African agenda on climate change. And that Africa agenda, we have to construct it with our scientists. We have to make sure that our scientists address the issues from the angles that are important for Africa. The Climate for Development in Africa initiative, or CLIMDEV, was established to create a solid foundation of Africa's response to climate change. This program seeks ways of overcoming the lack of necessary climate information, which is crucial for sustainable development planning in Africa. The knowledge infrastructure in terms of data, um, surveillance and monitoring capacity needs to be built in many countries. So the holy grail of Klimde is to um, identify where this knowledge is the weakest and how it can build the knowledge in many of these countries, especially related to hydromet services. Klimdev is the brainchild of three of Africa's biggest powerhouses. The African Union, the Economic Commission for Africa and the African Development Bank are working together to create a brighter future for Africa in the face of harsh climate change. The African Climate Policy Center is a demand-led knowledge hub that supports African governments to mainstream climate resilient policies into development plans. The purpose of this center is basically um, to be able to understand these impacts and be able to translate some of these impacts into knowledge that can be translated um, into a language that policymakers can understand, understanding both the threats um, that they face um, with climate change impacts, but also understanding the opportunities that are available to them. The African Union gives climate change a voice on the political platform. Most of the work on climate change needs to be given a political narrative. It's the science of climate change is quite strong, but the political narrative behind the impacts of climate change is still quite weak. And the African Union comes with um, sufficient gravitas. Um, it's actually the political powerhouse of Klimdev. As a government, we must have a strong response to this challenge to humanity. And that response should be seen through planning and also incorporated 
in all our development strategies so that we have adequate and uh, measurable activities that will help us to mitigate uh, the climate change. The African Development Bank manages investment portfolios for those who develop, sell and buy new greener technologies and that will lower Africa's carbon footprint and technologies and products that are better suited to Africa's changing climate. Although we're talking about biophysical impacts which has considerable consequences on lives and livelihoods of poor people in Africa, this is also an opportunity for tremendous um, investment. The initiative of Klimdev was an attempt to try and front load the kind of efforts we need to do uh, to cope with uh, climate change at different levels. The African Development Bank hosts and manages the Klimdev Africa Special Fund, which finances sustainable development projects designed to reduce poverty. It does this by working with individual governments to implement climate resilient development programs that mainstream climate change information at all levels in Africa. We ourselves have put in place uh, the fund. It is now fully operational. And to ensure that we can begin, uh, the board of directors has already put in $30 million uh, a couple of years back uh, to help countries with climate information, with planning for uh, investment, whether it is agriculture, water systems, and so on. In Mozambique, the private sector is investing in renewable energy, such as solar energy and clean cassava fuel which reduce the country's carbon footprint while ensuring even the poorest have access to electricity and gas. O desenvolvimento de um país está associado ao desenvolvimento energético. Com a introdução desse sistema fotovoltaico, nós vemos que tem tido mais valia, porque é porque as pessoas que se encontram nos bairros mais remotos, eles acabam tendo acesso à eletricidade. You're looking for an energy substitute that's cheap, efficient, safe, sustainable. Cassava being a, an excellent food, as well as uh, an excellent feedstock for, uh, for making some sort of downstream fuel. Antes eu usava lenha, deixei de usar lenha, comecei a usar anzilo, porque as condições do anzilo. Poupa muito tempo, não faz fumo. Não tem riscos de, de, de nada, né? Pode cozinhar dentro ou fora. Cameroon is practicing agroforestry, an integrated land use management approach of combining trees and shrubs with crops. This helps to protect the country's vital woodlands from being cut down while simultaneously using the forest's rich soil to increase crop output. Dans le département de la Liki, nous ne vivons qu'essentiellement de l'agriculture. Effectivement, ce n'est pas pour rien que nous avons opté de rentrer dans le cadre de la gestion durable des forêts communautaires. Nous respectons aussi la loi du Cameroun qui veut que chaque assiette de coupe soit respectée de façon rigoureuse par les autorités de l'État. Je crois qu'aujourd'hui, il est important euh, que la recherche euh, se rapproche davantage des communautés locales. À couvert de ce jour, je vous parle de la déforestation. La déforestation est un phénomène... Les outils comme les radios communautaires ou radio environnement sont euh, fondamentaux pour la transmission de ce genre euh, de messages et pour le rapprochement entre les chercheurs et les acteurs de terrain. But there is a long way to go before the communities in Africa are resilient enough to be able to cope with the impacts of climate change as best as they can. The time for talking is over. We need to get down to action. Especially because the negotiations on the climate issues internationally are painfully slow. 
Climate change is here. We can see the evidence of climate change on a daily basis. But um, for Africa to grow, we need to really ensure um, that our growth is um, commensurate um, with um, the huge opportunities that climate change can afford many of the social groups here in Africa. It's very important for us to understand the implications of mobilizing partners, governments, and of course scientists behind our African negotiators. They are the ones who are going to be at the forefront. They are the ones who are going to make sure that interests of Africa in relation to the rest of the world are defended. And I know this debate is very complex, very difficult, because negotiations now involve much more than just the negotiators that sit at the table. So climate change becomes something that is everybody's concern.